manage users. This is going to show you all the email addresses that are assigned a store, multiple stores within the portal. So something that's important to note is when coming here, you may find you see email addresses you are not aware of. Um, rest assured, it's very likely that they do not have access to your store. Uh, if there are multiple stores that are operating under your portal, that are operating under the business, they have access to their respective stores more than likely. Of course, there are instances where we've seen a user's email is added who is an unauthorized party. Um, if you ever have concerns, feel free to reach out to support. We can always make sure and help confirm that your store security and safety is met and there aren't any unauthorized users who have access to view it. Um, the different levels of access though, we see store operators, store managers, business admins. A uh, store operator is gonna have very low access in the merchant portal. They're basically only gonna be able to see the orders tab and not any of these other tabs that you see from menu, store availability, stuff of that nature. A store manager has the ability to see all of this and the only difference between a business admin and a store manager is a business admin has access to every single store and they don't have access to segment stores. Whereas store managers, you can either have access to all the stores or you can have access to just a few select stores that are operating under the store communications. So important alerts and uh, the performance reporting here, you can edit the emails that are set up to receive these alerts. So important alerts are gonna be such as store deactivations, you can always click the edit button to adjust the emails or add a new email address. So we can see this email is already here, you can't delete it, um, but you can add additional emails as well. And then same goes for store performance, which is going to let you know on a daily and weekly cadence, how the store is performing, how many sales were generated, and so to speak, what's expected for your following deposit. Bank account tab is going to only again be visible if you are a store manager or business admin, it's going to show you the current banking on file from the banking institution and the last four digits of the routing and account numbers. You'll be able to see the business details. Both of these should show verify. If they ever don't show verify, just make sure you're coming in here and trying to edit any of the information that's needed. So, under business details, for example, if we click edit here, this is where you'll be able to see your legal business name, your EIN, the last four digits that are set up. Um, we do know with our third party that we use for payments called Stripe, sometimes your legal business and EIN may not be verified in their system against the IRS. If that ever happens and payouts are paused and maybe you see a banner in the merchant portal showing fix this to continue receiving payments, this is where you'd want to go to make sure you update the legal business name in EIN exactly how it appears on either an SS4 or a 147C letter. Um, and then additionally, sometimes you may see that it surrounds the legal representative that's set up here. Um, it could be that their last four, their social security number is required. This is where you would come here as well to update. And then there is this new section here for payout statement descriptors. So you'd be able to click this edit button here. Let's say for example, that you're receiving deposits from DoorDash, but you're just having a hard time reconciling when they hit your bank account. You can always update the statement descriptor. So you can put say, for example, the store name or any indicator that will help once the payment hits your bank account for you to identify that that's the DoorDash deposit for this store. The last section to look at is going to be integrations. So if you're ever interested in integrating with a point of sale system, this is where you would want to go. Uh, there are plenty of providers here that have a get started walkthrough that you can self serve and go through. Um, but there are other providers, of course, that don't have this self serve feature. So if you don't ever see one of your providers listed here, just feel free to reach out to support. Uh, we can always make sure that it is a supported provider on our platform and help you get integrated so that you start receiving orders through your point of sale system. And with all of this, this has basically been the walkthrough for the Merchant Portal. So just wanna thank everyone for your time and genuinely hope moving forward that this helps.